Right, one of the Here we go. Um, in, on July the 22nd, we'll be uh, celebrating our 13th birthday. So Monday Club will become a teenager. Uh, the Master of Ceremonies that evening, obviously I'll be running it, but uh, Sass behind the bar will be organising all of the uh, decorations and everything else. Um, so I don't think we'd have got out of our second year if it wasn't for this gentleman because he's written the most famous song ever at the Monday Club. It's gone far and wide, as I uh, always say about our most well-known songs. They don't belong to us anymore. And his song about a sausage belongs to all of us. If you've never heard it, it's going to change your life. Um, I will ask you at the end uh, if that is a true statement or not. But Whatever, he's not just a one trick pony, he's a magnificent songwriter all round. Please give it up for the legendary Barry Jones! Thanks, Ian. Uh, this is a song about sexual frustration. It's called Howling at the Moon. If you feel it refers to you, by all means, have a howl. And you're up, you're amongst friends. There's a few already started, I think. You know. Well, I was walking home on that Saturday night, and your words were running through my head. Now I may be dumb. Well, not even that right, but I didn't understand the words you said. Oh, you said that you love me, that you want to be my wife. And if I get a job, you will marry me soon. Until then, you can find me staring up at the stars. That tonight, I'll be howling in the moon. But that working just wasn't right for me And you don't seem to mind when the poor kitchen starts You only seem to have those eyes for me But try as I might, I can't get you into bed You said you won't live in a tent or a ruin you said you need some money just to keep the children fed So tonight I'll be howling at the moon These old songs, and maybe I'll sell on if I find the good shoes. Until then, you can find me staring up at the stars, and tonight I'll be howling at the moon. Until then, you can find me staring up at the stars, and tonight I'll be howling at the moon. Thank you for howling as well. It's appreciated. <laughs> Who's that? Is that you, Ian? Yeah. I've got another one to do here, yeah. There's a bit of premature um, ejaculation, yeah. <laughs> Muscles felt by purple fucking ackee. <laughs> <laughs> Who's talking about purple ackee? <laughs> 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 I do muscles felt. 
And your sausage as well. Oh, yeah. Purple fucking Rocky. Purple Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Local hero. Yeah. <laughs> Local pedo. <laughs> I don't think he's a pedo. He just likes hold his muscles, doesn't he? You guys keep all the crazy guitars. <laughs> Does he? He does. He does. He does. He chair, apparently. <laughs> Shouldn't be having these conversations I'll end up with the wrong harmonica in. That's what you're doing. Like. <laughs> this is something about the American Civil War. Uh, Liverpool played a fairly shabby role in the American Civil War, in my view, crew in the Confederate battleships, and the last act of the American Civil War was the surrender of the battleship Shenandoah to Liverpool Town Hall. Uh, this song's about the Battle of Gettysburg, where the tide turned for the anti-slavery people. It's called Last Man Standing. Yay! Yay! That's really good Recruiting sergeants do, and they took all my civilian ranks for a uniform of blue. I was fighting for the union, the end of slavery, and I chose to serve my country with the horse artillery. We rode across Virginia through the mud and rain and mire. And then General Lee marched northward till he forced us to retire. My Nancy wrote me letters that made me want to cry. And we rode on up to Gettysburg on the first day of July. Well, I am the last man standing from the New York Battery when we held the line at Gettysburg in 1863. Fighting up on round top and down in Devil's Den And sometimes we were falling back and sometimes it was then We heard the cries of wounded men as they crossed the final bridge We waited in the darkness upon Cemetery Bridge Well the sun rose up with anger through the Pennsylvania dawn and then Pickett's men came charging, but we mowed them down like corn. We saw them swarm towards us, and we heard the rebel yell. Then we loaded up with canister and blew them all to hell. Well, I am the last man standing from the New York Battery when we held the line at Gettysburg in 1863. West, no money in my pocket with the silver off my chest. But I live beside my neighbors who have worn the blue or gray. And we burned the land together, we built the USA. Well, I am the last man standing from the New York Battery when we held the line at Gettysburg in 1863. Yes, I am the last man standing in the New York Battery when we held the line at Gettysburg in 1863.
Thanks very much. Ian mentioned this uh, song, Candy. Um, I wrote it 11 years ago um, because a lot of people would get up on stage and swear a lot, especially the poets. Um, and so I wrote it as a morality tale about the perils of swearing. But because I have to uh, swear in the telling of the tale, I asked if you would join in and sing along with me because I don't swear and it makes me feel better if everybody else swears as well. Well done! Um, I've, I've been singing the same song every week for 11 years well and using the same introduction and it's total bollocks because I do swear. But uh, I don't know how you'd write a song about swearing if you didn't. But um, before we go any further, I'd like you to put your hands together for Ian Browse. He's the reason why this club's still going. He's a very fine man. And he lets me you do gigs opening for him sometimes as well, which is nice as well. So. Thanks, Stephen. Well, yeah. If only I had some money. <laughs> uh, so this is, um, if you don't know the words at the start, I'm sure you'll know them by the end. Please join in, that's the idea. It's a song called Hide the Sausage. Uh, it, is a, it is available on Spotify now. It's Hide the Sausage by uh, Barry Jones. Who's shouting, who's shouting over there? Swazzy Seth, Swazzy Tell you what, if you don't listen to the words, you won't know the story. Absolutely vital. This is I the sausage. One Sunday afternoon I was gobbling like a moon So I could settle down and watch football The match it was a ball, it took them two hours just to score My wife lets out chips, what a good ball Now the chip shop man and me, we had some history I didn't like that he was always swearing he definitely Jeff at me If I didn't have the right money If I ordered a split course And just for sharing But I always stayed polite I thought it was only right Onion gravy and chips Whitely and a sausage He wrapped them all quite quickly I've never seen it work so sickly I was soon on my way oh, Back to our cottage When I got the feast back home my wife was on the phone, so I took on the task of the food out. Imagine my despair when the sausage wasn't there. I went straight back to the shop for a shootout. I marched in with face like foot the side customers asunder. Anyone could tell that I was raging. In my state of heightened ire, I thought I'll fight fire with fire, and with these very words I did engage him. I said, where's the fucking sausage, you bastard? Where's the fucking sausage, you bastard? I was hoping to enjoy a lovely saveloy. Now where's the fucking sausage, you bastard? He said, who are you calling a bastard, you bastard? Who are you calling a bastard, you bastard? Your position is diminished by the fact I haven't finished. Wrapping up your stuff before you're fucked up. Well, I phoned up your wife to tell her of the error. She said it was all right, you were an easy going fella. Now I went for Canard, and we spoke like this on ships. Now you a fucking bard, and you can whistle for your chips. Well, I went home to my wife, who was ashamed of me quite right. She said she couldn't eat, though she was famished. And from my conjugal rights, which used to be twice nightly, I found myself indefinitely banished. Cause I said, where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? I was hoping to enjoy a lovely saddle boy. Now where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? There's more. 
Now the moral of this tale is to think before you speak and resist in the temptation to get lippy. It's not big or clever to swear, and if you get it wrong, you could be anchored off for days without a chippy. So don't say, where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? I was hoping to enjoy a lovely saddle. And now where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? You're turning on your own! Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? I was hoping to enjoy a lovely Sabbath morning. And now where's me fucking sausage, you bastard? Beautiful singing, thank you. Beautiful singing. Okay, put your hands in the air if you've never heard that before. You're a liar, Alex. <laughs> Has it changed your life, yes or no? Life is better now. You can progress through all of your troubles and woes and whatever it is you're going to do, knowing you've heard the sausage song and everything is just more beautiful. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, from the legend that is Barry Jones. Come on. You're up for Monday, Cook!